Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a magic review. Hey everybody, thanks for being here. Thanks for tuning back in. It's an exciting week. Why? Why is it an exciting week? Because we're doing coin magic, right? We're doing coin magic all week long. Big coin magic week. Today, got another gimmicked coin trick for you. Kind of a cool one, kind of out of the ordinary. Haven't seen something like this before. This is called Slowpoke, and it's from Louis Fox. But first, before we get into that, if you don't know about the channel, I do magic reviews, I do magic reviews, I do playing card reviews, and I also do giveaways every single month. Got a cool giveaway coming up in just a week. And uh, if you want to, it would really make me happy if you would just hit like and subscribe, hit your notification bell, hit everything. Make sure you're following me here and over on Instagram so that you can be alerted the next time a review or a giveaway goes live. All right, slow poke, slow poke from Louis Fox, hocus-pocus.com. What is it? Uh, it's coin through hand, really. It's coin through hand. Uh, you can show your hands empty, have a silver dollar, and then you kind of like melt it into your hand. And uh, you just explain that it's gone halfway, right? Halfway through. And then you push it a little further and it goes into your closed fist. You open up your fist and it's there, right inside your fist. Highly visual trick, extremely creative. Let's talk about it. All right, so the first question we always ask is, what do you get? What do you get for your money? Uh, it's $25, 25 bucks. Uh, you head on down to hocus-pocus.com and you can find it. It's uh, folded paper instructions. So folded paper instructions, I think it's like four pages stapled together. Uh, it's in a plastic bag. You're gonna get the gimmick coin, right? Fully gimmick coin. And you'll get the needed accessories to repair it when it breaks. And inside the instructions, you'll get links to videos that show certain aspects of the trick. So it'll show you what the trick looks like, show you how to repair, things like that. Is it what I thought? Yes, it, it is kind of what I thought. And if you're thinking right now, oh, it's just, it's just coin and bottle. It's not coin and bottle, okay? I don't think you could do this trick with coin and bottle. Coin and bottle isn't really this isn't really right for this, okay? This is manufactured to do this. Slowpoke is its own uh, creation. It does not look like coin and bottle. It is very similar, right? It's very similar to coin and bottle. You fix it the exact same way, and when it breaks on you, it breaks the same way. Uh, I would even argue it's probably easier to fix than coin and bottle, right? Easier to fix than coin and bottle. But yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's roughly that. All right, so how are the angles? I mean, angles are all uh, facing you. You're looking at the dirty side of the coin and your spectators are not. So you really don't want people on your sides and back. You want them all straight ahead of you. This is the best shot, right? Even something like that wouldn't work for so well. You want, you want this shot, right? And as far as inspectability goes, I mean, obviously you're gonna wanna do a switch because you can't hand out a gimmicked coin. So here's what the little instruction book looks like, okay? And it's a stapled little instruction sheet. On the back, there's some other uh, Louis Fox products that you can look out for. But really quickly, they're gonna cover the gimmick. You're gonna get full color photographs. You'll get a link for extra parts if you need that. And then they'll walk you through some additional ideas. Uh, one of them is called the eraser, which is very similar to David Ross effect that is from Expert Coin Magic. You're gonna learn a coin through hand with an extra coin. You're gonna learn coin through table, a coin through deck, coin through your spectator's hand, and you'll even learn how to do it with a sign coin. Of course, Louis Fox has some thank you and some crediting at the very end of it. And it's all very well presented. You'll get everything you need. As far as the coin being well made, I mean, it's made exactly the same way that coin and bottle is made. So, I mean, if you've had coin and bottle, it's made similar to that. Pocket space wise, you only need the single gimmicked coin, really. I mean, unless you're gonna do some other type of trick, and in which case you probably need a duplicate coin to switch out for. But pocket space wise, I mean, it's just a coin. It's not gonna take up much space. And as far as setup or reset, again, it's gonna be the same as coin and bottle. And if you're wondering what I'm talking about, and you don't know how to do coin and bottle, or you've never seen the coin in bottle or coin bite gimmick, 
then I would say you should probably check those out too. Positives wise, I think this is a nice fresh look at uh, this type of gimmick. I've never seen it done this way. I think when we all saw David Blaine take a bite out of a coin, when he uh, took the standard coin and bottle gaff and did something unique with it, I think we were all like, oh wow, I gotta get that out of the drawer, right? And so I think Louis Fox has kind of done the same thing. Even though this is a different gimmick, um, I think he's done the same type of thing where something for a coin magician or, you know, somebody who's doing walk around, this is definitely something that's very visual and impossible looking. I mean, as a visual image, like if you milk this and, and they're staring at this for a, even a second longer and they just have that picture in their head, that is a, that is a visual, right? Just to see a coin half melted into someone's hand, they're just like, wow, like that, that's the magician that made the coin, you know, melt into his hand. And then you'd be able to just show the coin again and say, yeah. All right, so negatives, what are the negatives? You know, around here, we talk about the good and the not so good, things I like, things I didn't like as much. Uh, I wanna give you everything, put it all out there so that you have all the information so that you can spend your money wisely. I would say with uh, Slowpoke, the gimmick, right? The negatives for it are gonna be the same negatives that you'd have for coin and bottle. I, I remember when I first got coin and bottle, it frustrated me a lot because uh, it kept breaking on me and it was hard to put back together. And uh, the needed items weren't just like at your local, you know, grocery store. You had, to, you had to get them, you had to go out of your way to find them. So I think those same negatives that you have with that, you have with this. But there's a lot of people that use coin and bottle uh, all the time and have no problem with it. They, you know, they, they can work around it. And so if that's you, if you're a coin magician, right, and you're, you've, you have a long established relationship with this type of gaff, I think you'll love it. So like I said, it's $25. It's available to purchase at hocus-pocus.com. Uh, it's great for walk around. It's great for street magic. Certainly a wonderful thing to pick up for coin magicians. I want to thank hocus-pocus.com for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it right now at hocus-pocus.com. They are a full-fledged magic store. They will answer all your questions. They're very helpful. Uh, they would love to uh, fill up your shopping cart with you and give you the advice and the help that you need. Thanks, guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.